Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 5th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell, and you will catch me live. But let's see. Ooh, I like it. Uh, this looks good, is what I'm going to say to you. So I feel like you understand something now. So let's keep going. You might understand your destiny. Uh, all three air, or I think um, or maybe only one other air sign. I can't remember, but uh, you have the tower here, but it's like you're understanding something. This is some sort of wake up call is what I would say to you, possibly understanding uh, a direction that you need to move in in your life. I actually really like this reading for you, Aquarius. Yep. What do you know? Very determined at this time. I feel two of wands, eight of wands. Your overall energy for the week is the two of wands here. I feel like you're very determined with these cards to move in a direction here, maybe towards your destiny, because you have the um, eight of you have this uh, wheel of fortune here, and you also have the tower as well. It's almost like I feel wake up call, which is like judgment, but um, you know the uh, tower can also represent a sudden revelation or a sudden understanding about something in your life here, Aquarius. So I feel like you understand something on a very deep level, especially with this eight of cups. I feel like you know that a journey is not going to be easy. That's why it's coming in as eight of cups tower three of wands you know that something is going to take time but you're moving towards it anyway whatever this journey is and i've got uh, two of wands i love the two of wands to me the two of wands is a card of finding gold to me the two of wands says you have to move a lot of dirt to get to the gold as well so i feel like you've definitely been through a lot of dirt right here in, with these two cards but it's like you're moving towards rewards you're moving towards bigger and better things yeah probably having to deal with a heartbreak is what i would say to you so maybe some of you have had to deal with a heartbreak or a separation but whatever it is it doesn't matter it's leading towards amazing things two of swords head over heart decision so you had to make a head over heart decision in the past but um let's dig into this before i keep clarifying and then we'll clarify some more you have this deep knowing card it's like you know exactly what to do this is coming up in your past position. So you could have chosen in the past to walk through um, some darkness. You have the Eight of Cups here, and we'll talk about that in a second. But I feel like you knew you had to do something here with this deep knowing card that maybe hurt. You have the um, Eight of Cups here, the Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you knew that you had to do something to walk towards your destiny here as well. The Wheel of Fortune is your destiny, is your personal vision for your life. The Eight of Cups represents walking through, like choosing to walk away from something that you think is fulfilling, but you kind of know it's not. So some of you maybe have chosen to walk away from a situation here, and um, the Eight of Cups can be a card of walking away from things that no longer serve you. But I also always say this guy, he's choosing to walk through darkness. He is making a choice to walk away from something knowing that he's gonna have to maybe go through some dirt, like I said, but knowing that he's heading towards his future vision for his life with the three of wands here and also this uh, wheel of fortune. You have the uh, Eight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune here. Definitely some sort of change maybe that was sudden here with these two cards as well, the Eight of Wands and the Tower. A sudden change that happened in the recent past. Um, maybe this is new love here. Maybe you chose to move towards new love. Or maybe you chose to walk away from a relationship or... Maybe you chose to um, move or get a new job. I mean, it could be anything, literally, with these cards. But definitely some sort of new beginning here. Uh, and so I feel like that is going to, that was a sudden change with the Eight of Wands. So I feel like for some of you, uh, and again, somebody could have done this to you as well, Aquarius. Someone could have suddenly walked away from you, or there could have been some sort of sudden conclusion with the Eight of Wands. Um, you have the Tower, the king of pentacles here and the king of wands here as well for some of you i do feel like it could be like between two people here uh you know king of pentacles someone who's very stable uh, someone who's very who would it could have been permanent or is permanent and the king of wands maybe someone a little more adventurous someone a little less stable so for some of you i feel like this choice you made was between two people or you know again it could have been someone else uh, it could have been the other person that made a choice for others i feel like that you made this decision to put yourself like i said through some dirt in the recent past so that you could improve your life uh, king of pentacles has a very strong desire for stability and security and wants things to be permanent in his life. The King of Wands is a energy of like wholehearted energy. It's almost a card of raising something like a child. And he is facing towards this wheel of fortune. So it's almost like I feel this reading saying, you took control of your destiny, <laughs> plain and simple. And I feel like that is going to lead to a turnaround and major success. It's like you are protected on your journey as well. 
So like I said, I feel like some of you could still be dealing with some like pains and hurts here with this Eight of Cups, but at the same time, I feel like you're protected here and you're moving in the right direction. So I feel like you really took control of your destiny. Again, King Wands says that you really kind of decided that you need to be in control of your own future. And so maybe you took control, maybe you walked away from a person. I feel like it's probably one person so that you could take control of your destiny. You have the uh, protection card here. So I feel like you are protected at this time, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like you did this for your own security as well. Uh, King of Pentacles, it's like you did this for your own financial security. So maybe you walked away from a person or they walked away from you because of these reasons here. Uh, you have the Three of Wands, the Lovers, and the Knight of Wands here. So I feel like for some of you, you're very focused on the future. Knight of Wands is like a little bit of mystery. It's like you, and, and it's facing this way as well. For whatever reason, I feel like you're very focused on your like future vision for your life with that Wheel of Fortune. Very lucky card and it represents a lot of luck but it's like you could be wondering like how am i going to build this here wheel of fortune knight of king of pentacles three of wands how am i going to you know um, accomplish my goals how am i going to accomplish the things that i want to accomplish here it's like that's what you're wondering you do have the three of wands which is like waiting for the perfect moment to do something and when there never will be a perfect moment so i feel like for some of you there, there is no good answer i feel like you just have to get started on something with that three of wands i feel like you're protected from risk as well so if you're thinking about taking a risk i would take that risk at this time and i would get moving I do feel like this could be new love coming in for you or like an upgrade in a relationship if you're in a relationship here with the lovers as well. I don't really, I mean, you do have the Wheel of Fortune here, which could be someone coming back from the past here, uh, Aquarius, maybe going back to someone you see as very secure. But there's something here <laughs> with the three of wands, too much waiting. So I feel like for some of you, if you're like, you know, someone's coming in, communicating with you, I feel like you need to make a decision here and just make the decision. Plain and simple is what I'd say to you. Or this could be you going towards someone, but I feel like a decision needs to be made with this three of wands here in this situation. Definitely a lot of building energy, um, that, but um, that's really all I'm getting here in this part. So I'm gonna pull an extra row here because uh, I want to get more details for you. You have, you have the relaxation card, so maybe a good time to re rest, relax, recover, and the wisdom card as well. This person's reading a book on the relaxation card, so it might be a good time to gain some wisdom. You have the sun here, I like this. The uh, high priestess, trust your intuition, and the ace of cups, love it, amazing. So I feel like you're kind of, again, I feel really, um, this is a very simple reading, Aquarius. There's really not much to say. I feel like you just w chose to either make a sacrifice or to you chose to walk through some darkness with this Eight of Cups so that you could live your personal vision for your life, so that you could maybe um, have some achievements or so that you could become successful in work or business or maybe in your family life or whatever. So I feel like that's really all that's going on. I feel like that's all that's going on here. I feel like this is what happened in the past. So let's uh, clarify with the Lenormand and let's see uh, what additional if details, if any, we get. Uh, between the Eight of Cups here and the Tower, yeah, you have the eight of, Ace of Hearts. Some of you, I do feel like either you or a person could be realizing that they uh, walked away from the true love I don't really see anything happening just yet because this is no movement to me with the three of wands. It's like somebody's stuck in their head. Somebody's thinking too much in a past situation. So again, I do feel like someone made a sacrifice here um, to hopefully improve their life or thinking that um, sacrificing something would improve their life, but it's like there's no movement. We'll talk about this in a minute. Between the Page of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, there could be communication happening. Again, Wheel of Fortune here. You have the Seven of Spades, which is called the Letter. So this could be like an apology or communication coming in. It feels very solid, very practical, but it's not very sexy. <laughs> is what I feel like saying to you here, Aquarius. So if someone's communicating with you, it's like, I feel like maybe the initial communication isn't very, you know, sexy. That, that's the only word that's popping into my head, Aquarius. It's almost like they're, you know, there could be someone from the past and I just feel like they just don't know how to communicate. Uh, for others, it could be a new person. And it's like, I feel like they're um, kind of coming at it from the wrong angle. I feel like this is how they need to come at it. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands. You have the Five of Diamonds, just do it. I feel like it's time for you to take action. Five of Diamonds is a playing card. This is the maybe Lenormand, and it has some playing cards in it. Five of Diamonds to me is just my just do it card in the playing card reading system. And you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands, just do it. So Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands, it's like you know something is your destiny, or you know something is like your life purpose even, and I feel like you need to get moving towards it. Between the Tower and the Three of Wands, you have the Four of Hearts. Four of hearts is true love, something very secure, 
something very stable, but there was like this tower situation going on in a true love situation or some sort of separation and something that could have brought someone a lot of happiness, I feel, with that four of hearts. Now, between the king of pentacles and the lovers, yeah, three of spades, a breakup um, between with something very stable. You have that king of pentacles in the lover. So maybe you were a very stable um, force in someone's life. Maybe you were the thing that kept them, this person grounded and they left or they broke up. That's like this walking away situation. Or, you know, maybe there was a breakup. It doesn't matter who did it. And it's like, because the choice was made with this eight of cups. Somebody chose to walk through darkness. But it's like, I feel there are either regrets or um something going on here because it's like somebody is realizing how stable or how someone could have led to permanence in their life. Uh, between the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands here, you have the Ten of Spades. It's called the ship. It's like a boat on the ocean. And uh, so I feel like for some of you, this is talking about travel or in the Three of Wands here as well, travel. So there could be some travel coming up for you or some moving. Uh, this could also represent moving on as well. So I feel like for some of you, you could be moving on from a certain energy here. Between the, look at this, this is crazy. Between the three wands and the sun, you have the sun, the ace of pentacles here, heading towards a lot of success and happiness. I do feel like a lot of you understand where your happiness lies and what your happiness is. I would just start moving towards it here, Aquarius. Between the lovers and the high priestess, five of hearts. Five of hearts is a card of jealousy uh, in a situation. So I would let go of jealousy. Uh, literally, I used to read the five of hearts as jealousy that needs to be ignored. So I would let go of jealousy in a situation. To me, it can represent like, a, a, in this deck here, it's called Cupid. So for some of you, there could be love coming in and it's just like, you know, a person that you're in love with, plain and simple. Between the Knight of Wands here and the Ace of Cups, I feel like you need to talk yourself into something, two of clubs here, maybe making a love offer. Maybe you need to make an offer towards a person. I would just do it with this energy and I would just make, you know, make the move with that two of, two of clubs. I feel like it'll make you very happy uh, with this energy as well. In your top row, you have the eight of clubs. I feel like this isn't going to be easy. Uh, eight of clubs is called the mountain. And it's like, you know, how maybe there are obstacles that need to be overcome in a situation. Because again, it does look like somebody walked away here with the eight of cups. So it's like something needs to be overcome, some obstacles. But it does say you will overcome these obstacles. Uh, in the middle, you have the five of clubs here. Five of Clubs is a card I used to call Indiana Jones. To me, it represents taking a risk or needing to take a risk. Five, five, five. Uh, so three fives here. I feel like for some of you, you need to take a risk. You need to take a leap of faith towards something. Probably your personal vision for your life here. And uh, bottom row, you have the Queen of Clubs here. Queen of Clubs is a card of seduction. I'm wondering if someone was seduced away from a relationship. This kind of has third party vibes. So I'm wondering if you or your person, again, take it how it resonates, was kind of seduced away from a relationship by, it could have been a person, but it could have been anything as well. It could have been like a job or um, your dream life or something like that. Like somebody feels like they were seduced away from a situation. They might now be regretting it, I feel. But I feel like there needs to be communication in this situation is what I'd say to you here, Aquarius. Yeah, diligence, paying attention to the I feel like you are paying attention to details at this time. Yeah, I feel like you can take the lead on a situation as well in your life is what I'd say to you. Ten of Pentacles, probably towards your Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles to me is everything you want in your life. To me, Ten of Pentacles is total fulfillment, Aquarius. But I feel like you need to move towards this. Remember what I was saying with that Two of Wands. Two of Wands is your overall energy. Two of Wands represents moving a lot of dirt to get to the gold. And it's a card of kind of being very direct and really going for something. So I really feel like you need to charge forward towards something here. A lot of reasons to be happy in this reading as well. Uh, I definitely feel like you're like on the right path towards your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. I, we control the Wheel of Fortune as well, Aquarius. We control what the direction it spins with our vibrations. There's a snake on the side here. And that snake represents our vibrations and kind of the our feelings and the things we put out into the universe. So I would keep it positive this week. But I do feel like a confusing walking away situation here. <laughs> Even this eight of clubs here can represent confusion. So it's like somebody walked away from their true love. Could have been you, could have been this other person, but it's like somebody need, needs to move towards happiness here. I'm not even saying you're gonna take a person back here, by the way, Aquarius. It's like maybe you walked away from a situation, maybe it was true love, but maybe it just wouldn't work out. So it's like you could be just moving towards other forms of happiness, or you could be trying to find fulfillment somewhere else in your life with this energy. I am getting something about money here as well. I feel like either that some of you are either going to spend money or you need to spend money on something. I feel like it'll be worth it. Like it feels like you're fixing your car, or maybe you're buying a car, or maybe you're making a purchase here. I think it'll be worth it. 
is what I'd say there. I really feel like you need to pay attention to your attention with all these cards and the two suns. The sun twice is like enlightenment, major enlightenment, being enlightened to something, the tower, having some sort of revelation. So I feel like these revel I feel like you should not ignore revelations that you're having. You could be having wake up calls, wake up moments in the middle of the night where you're like, oh my God, I need, I need to do this. I would do it. You know, whatever it is. It could be like start a business or it could be something having to do with your destiny. And I feel like you need to kind of like move towards those feelings. This is a pretty interesting reading here, Aquarius. So thank you for watching and definitely enjoy your week.